MLB The Show 21 did something groundbreaking. They reminded me that the Foo Fighters still exist. Wow, cool. They also have a stadium creator, which has been long overdue. MVP Baseball 2005 had one, and it was primitive, yes, but the effort was appreciated, especially for a PS2 era game. One would hope that the MLB The Show series would take this and expand upon it with newer hardware, but they never did. In the PS3 and PS4 era, Stadium Creator was MIA, but now on PS5, it's here and it punches you right in the face with all the amount of content and freedom it has. I mean, it's a damn free-for-all. Adjust the walls, the stands, put UFOs in the sky, have roads, bridges, parking lots. There are no rules. Rules are for losers. You could put a bunch of tiger statues in the stadium and call it Dolphin Stadium if you want. Giving the people this much power is like giving a kid coffee and a BB gun. The game lets you upload your own monstrosities online for others to download. Although it sucks because despite Stadium Creator being heavily promoted, there are no search functions or filters. Like, how can this be an oversight? Come on, how dare you? How dare I? How dare you? Anyway, let's see what kind of madness people have created. Suave Stadium? Well, this place is, uh, interesting. I like how these stands have gaps in them. It looks like something someone in Wipeout would have to traverse. I mean, I'm just hoping no one falls off. Check out this floating baseball glove in right field. Why is it floating? Here, buddy, let me give you some structure. There we go. Now the stadium with a UFO, a stationary hovering jumbo jet, a bridge that leads to nothing, looks a little less silly now that this glove isn't floating. Next stadium, Tropics Field. This one looks pretty nice. I like the summertime amusement park vibe we got going on here. Park with a water slide and right outside of the stadium, a whole amusement park. I don't know why Big Ben is in the middle of everything though. Seems a bit out of place. Okay, so this is something I found while I was editing. But check out the basketball court. There are dinosaurs there and they're playing basketball. Come on, raptors playing basketball? It doesn't make any kind of sense. Also, where are we? Looks like there's no civilization in miles. Like, what is this? Baseball Carnival Island? All right, next city. Oh my God. Yeet Yards. That's an appropriate name because I feel like brain cells were yeeted out when this place was being made. Go to hell. Oh! <laughs> This stadium is anything but normal, but let me fix the main problem that's wrong with it. These red walls do not match the rest of the green ones. Let me change that. There we go. Now this can be a major league stadium. Now everything looks good. I mean, why can't every stadium have dinosaurs stacked on each other and zigzaggy outfield walls? Come on, let this man build the A's new stadium. You'll never not know the score with all these scoreboards around, including one on the field of play. Flavor Street, not the kind of place I expected from the title. I mean, this place has everything. A baseball field, hotels, water slides, fountains, an arcade, a medieval castle. There's something for everyone. The castle looks cool, but the guy put an escalator next to it. It reminds me of when Triple H had that King stuff on, but had a water bottle in his hand that throws everything off. <laughs> the escalators don't quite reach the top, so if this stadium existed in real life and had this in it, you would have to do some uncharted shit just to reach the castle. Ah! Jurassic Park. I'm not surprised at all considering the fact that the game gives you frickin' dinosaurs. Hey man, I'm glad to see Littlefoot's back on his feet, especially after the 7,000 Land Before Time movies. Good for him. Is this park any good? You bet your ass it is. Now I found this one on Reddit, and we have to use pictures because like I said before, you can't search anything. This guy uploaded the unholy creation you're looking at right now. This just shows that if you want to go absolutely apeshit in this stadium creator, you can. It honestly looks like you tried to make something at first with the stands and concessions and the two basketball courts. But then he just said, you know what, screw this and dump the whole toy box on the field and drew Super Saiyan hair with the outfield walls. Those outfield walls are so sharp, I'm pretty sure I can cut through our dimension. But what about me? Can I make anything crazy? Well, check this out. Boo, you stink! Yes, yes, I know. It looks like the generic tutorial park. But look, the stands are gone. And that's because this park's been overtaken by dinosaurs and this cow. There are seats. Well, you have to get to them. How do you get to them? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. First, you have to climb up these boards of wood. 
then climb up these three sets of stairs. Be careful not to fall off. Once you reach the top, there's a maze waiting for you. At the top of the maze, there's a portal. The portal transports you to a castle. Enter the castle, defeat the king, reach the top, jump through this portal, and the portal leads you to the stands that hover 100 feet in the sky. Enjoy the game. Now, this is silly, and I had to make my own lore for this, but I'll try and make something a little halfway decent. This is Empty Tundra Park. Please don't make fun of the name. The concept is, is that this was a normal town before the heavy snowfall came and buried everyone underneath snow. Heavy snowfall field, I could have named it that. I'm so stupid. No stands, no fans, no life spans. There's no one around to watch the game. If you ever wanted to hear a game with no sound, well, here you go. And that oh, misses one and one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Line drive base hit. Man, that's surreal. The First offering on its well. way. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And this is down. And he's done it. And the winning run is across to score. Yay. Do a barrel roll. Ooh. Honestly, I think I can make a better stadium, but this one's fine for now. It just shows what a novice like me can do with a little bit of time. Overall, Stadium Creator is a good feature and I'm very glad it's in the game. There are some things they can expand upon in the future, like being able to change bullpen locations, add domes, loosen up on the restrictions for online play, and oh yeah, actually have the ability to search for stuff. That's important, but good job though. Now work on those offline modes. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I make other videos on manly man sports games. So if you want to check those out, or if you just like the sound of my voice for whatever reason, cool. Also, I'm not going to tell you to like the video because you're grown and you already know what to do. See you guys.